Hi guys, welcome to Refreshing Motherhood. My name is Taylor and I'm excited to share with you some DIY spring activities for your toddler that you can do with items that you have at home. So I spent zero dollars on these activities and they're super, super fun and I can't wait to show you them. So my daughter Denver just turned 15 months old and these are great activities for just like the younger toddlers, um, one year olds, 18 month olds I think would really like this. Um, but I mean a range of kids. I think this is so much fun. So I'm gonna share with you two activities. Both of them are using just kitchen items or whatever items you can find. This isn't a glamorous activity or DIY by any means. It's just something to get your kids outside playing and having a great time for no money at all. So the first activity I have for you is actually sidewalk chalk paint. So a lot of times we play with sidewalk chalk, but Denver usually tends to eat it, so I wanted to be able to let her color and play but not be tempted to eat the chalk. So I found this sidewalk chalk paint and all it takes is two ingredients. So you're gonna start with equal parts of water and cornstarch. So because this is using water and cornstarch, it's non-toxic, it's edible, it's washable. So she likes to paint the ground, paint herself, paint her pants, and it just washes right out in the laundry, which is great. So this is really easy. You just put the water in, put the cornstarch in, and mix it all together. I used two tablespoons each for this, and it kind of is like a little bit thin, but it thickens over time. So as it dries, it gets thick, and it's almost kind of like a glue, but it's nice because you can just wash it away with the hose, and it won't stain your concrete or sidewalk or anything. The next activity that we're going to be doing is a sensory water box. So this is something to get them, get their hands moving, get their coordination, just testing out different textures and discovering things. So basically all you need is a Tupperware container and take some toys or whatever items you have in the house. I used a back roller and a little whisk and some bath toys and I threw in the measuring spoon from the first DIY in there as well and you're just going to cover those up with rocks big rocks, small rocks, cover them up, and then you're gonna fill the container up with water and let them splash around in it, let them feel around, discover what's underneath the rocks, and this is a really fun way to keep them entertained, get them in the water when it's hot outside without having to necessarily buy a water table. It's just really cheap and easy and fun. All these rocks I found in the backyard. So those are my two springtime activities for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed them. I'm actually doing this video as a collaboration with some other mamas on YouTube. I will have their videos linked down below. And we are all teaming up together to bring you springtime activities for a variety of age groups. And I love these girls so much. So thank you, Kristen, for hosting this collab. Her channel is called The Making of a Mama. And I thought it was a really fun idea to be able to get together and come up with a bunch of different ideas that we can all do and we can take these activities from different age groups and tweak them a little bit to fit our kids and it's just fun to be able to hear from other mamas and see what they do to get their kids active and outside. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. I do all kinds of mommy and lifestyle and baby stuff here on Refreshing Motherhood and I would love to have you join the village. So I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.